Hi, this is the new video, a black and white portrait, which I'm using the park white and then the park black. So I'm laying down a white area so the I can work with the black because black on black doesn't work. So this is the first black stencil where all the details are. So if I'm using the next stencils, they always fit into this first stencil set. So you have everywhere in this picture there are position parts like the nose or the lip or the eyes so that you can fit the stencil even if you used it like 50 times and it's totally dirty you always have these position markers or points that are left out in the stencil. So this was again the black opaque color but with less opacity and this one is again the black but with less opacity so that you get a grey and in this one a light grey. And now we are switching back to your park white. And there you uh, we have two stencils, uh, one in the full white and this one in like a white with less opacity. So with this stencil you can experiment how much white you want to put on it. And then we have the last stencil, which is the positive or negative stencil from the first one we use in this one. This time we're using a full white. Almost can do some freehand work for a picture, but if you just use a stencil, it also looks nice. It's important for the eyes that there's always a highlight. Okay, bye.